So just to give you an idea, where are we? What have we achieved? A simple example, the most trivial example. We have our transformers. I have my BERT tokenizer. I do the same as I just showed you from pre-trained BERT base. And then I have here one sentence, not sentence pair, not 500,000, just one sentence. And did I execute this? Gee, I don't even know what I executed and did not execute. So I have to execute this, otherwise my definition is gone. And now I can run this very simple model. So we have one sentence and look what happens. So at first we download pre transferred base. Here we go. If max lang specific news truncation is true. Yes, truncation is true. And here we go with our tensor. And this is our input ID tensor that we have given our sentence is today is a sunny day, Monday. And we have a maximum length is now 64. So you see you have a lot of zeros because we want to fill up to the standardized length of our input sequence. So these are all our padding tokens if you want. And then we have 101 is our start token. Our CLS token, 102 is our SAP token, we know this. And then you have here for the word pieces of the sentence, today is a sunny day, Monday, you have now the numerical encoding of our tokens. And this is it, very simply. Now, if you think, what's the attention mask? What is our attention mask? And now again, we have our sentence, today is a sunny day, Monday, and the attention mask is if you fill up to 64, you see wherever there is a real token, we have one and the rest is just the fill up if you want, is just zero. So we can clearly see if we have an attention mask, okay, where is the information hidden? Great, this is it. And the third part is the token type IDS. Remember, we have two sentences, so we have to differentiate which words and word pieces, given it's a word model, belong to the sentence one or the sentence A. So zero corresponds to a sentence A token, and you will not believe it, but one corresponds to a sentence B token. This is it. So all our input uh, tensors we have, our input ID, showed you this is it for one sentence, our attention mask is also a TensorFlow tensor. So do this is it. And then for the token type ID, the same thing like here, but just uh, zero for the first sentence and one for the second sentence so that we can differentiate between our two sentences. And this is it. So now we have defined our input tensors to the model. And as I just showed you, this order here where we have our model, and we have three input tensors, the input IDs, the attention mask, and the token type IDs. Now we built the model. We built the model with, very cleverly, a TensorFlow distributed mirror strategy in mind. This means we want to train on in the cloud on multiple GPUs, or even multiple TPUs. You can have here a TPU in front of our strategy, but just stick with this. So with our strategy defined, what we do now is we have our input layers, our Keras input layers. And you are not gonna believe it. We have our input IDs, our attention mask, and our token type IDs. Are you surprised? Huh? No, this is it, beautiful. So we have our input layer defined our encoded token IDs, our attention mask, and our token type IDs. This is it. Then what we do is we load a pre-trained BERT model. Remember, BERT was trained and executed here on first on unlabeled sentence A and B pairs from the pre-training. And then you have the fine tuning approach. So what we do is we download it. And we are looking here at the TensorFlow model. Careful. If you're working in TensorFlow with Keras, you have the TensorFlow BERT model. If you're working in PyTorch, you would just have the BERT model. So, and if you want to have a look at the different models available, my goodness, 
There are a lot of models. I show you here, Hugging Face, the Transformer. You can see here from the model, I have here the bird model. And on the left side, and on the right side, you can see just four bird, the overview, the bird configuration and whatsoever. And then here, TensorFlow bird model. And this is, oops, this is exactly what we are using. Maybe increase the size a little bit so you can have a look at it. The TensorFlow bird model. Prepare bird model, transformer outputting raw hidden states without any specific head on top. You remember the self attention, the attention heads that are attached to it. We have the TensorFlow pre trained model because we also want to have, of course, loading of our weights. This is what I showed you. We have to have a given um, model input ID as attention mask token type. And then you have all the nomenclature and the parameter that are predefined that are necessary for this call. And then each parameter is defined in detail again. So if you have any question about your input IDs here, you can go, you can look it up. The token types ID, here's every information you need. The output attention, the output hidden states, the training, the encoder hidden state, whatever you are interested in, here is the definition of it. And if you want to have the, the very short uh, information about the model, what we do, BERT tokenizer from pre-trained, BERT base uncased, this is exactly what we do. And then we have a model, and this is the TensorFlow BERT model from pre-trained, exactly. We have a tokenizer. Now, again, one sentence. Hello, my dog is cute, beautiful. We want to have the tensor representation, the TensorFlow representation of our tensor. And then what you do is just say model inputs. And this is it. This is the simplest model you can have. You have, this is your defined output, and then you just want to have the information encoded in the last hidden state. So this is what you are looking for if you train this model. Remember, this is the simplest way model inputs. Where was it? Where was it? Just give me a second model input. The simplest way is a single tensor with input IDs only and nothing else. So this is it, model input IDs. This is for TensorFlow 2 models, the accepted input, the simplest version. Of course, we go for the advanced version. And if you want to have a deep dive on the utilities for the tokenizer, you see here the Hugging Face Transformer page, utilities for tokenizers, and you have the pre-trained tokenizer base that we have, truncation, padding, whatever. There's a lot of information. I will leave you the link to this also in the description so you can dive in and play around with each and every parameter available. Let's go back to our model. What happened? We have a loading of a pre-trained BERT model in the TensorFlow version. So we say, oh, BERT model, now here's it. TensorFlow BERT model from pre-trained, the BERT base model, uncased. This is it. And we do that from pre-trained because we want to have the information that when the model trained, the model waits, we want to have this valuable insight, the model waits. And BERT base has 12 transformer encoder blocks in the stack. Yes, we know this. And what we do now is we freeze the BERT model. And this is the beauty now here. Freeze the BERT model to use the pre-trained features without modifying them. And then what we do now is we put some additional trainable layers on top of our frozen layers. And now only those added trainable layers we're going to focus on and we do a training run of this model. Uh, what else we do? Yeah, the BERT output. Of course, we have to define the output. This is our BERT model. Again, with our input, this is our input IDs, our attention mask and our token type IDs. We know this by now. We are looking for the information of the last hidden state. This is called now the sequence output from our frozen model. And what we do is we define now a bidirectional LSTM layer. So Keras layer bidirectional and we take an LSTM and we apply this to our sequence output. So we directly attach a trainable layer to our frozen layer 
and we get the information out of it. And then, of course, you know, you have to have a pooling layer. There is now here it's a nice solution, a hybrid pooling approach to the output of our bidirectional LSDM sequence. So you, on this uh, bidirectional LSDM, you have an average pooling or a max pooling. Now you can concatenate those two layers and you define a dropout rate dot three on the concatenation. And here you have to find your dropout. And at the output, of course, you have to attach now to the dropout a dense layer with an activation function. So here is the learning happening in this layer, if you want. And softmax is the chosen activation function here in this official Keras notebook. Beautiful, we go with this. And our new model is now. And now, this is it. Here we have our model and we have the inputs. And you will not believe it, the input is still the same three tensors we know. The input ID is the attention mask and the token types ID. And the output is just the output we just defined with a frozen model, with a trainable layer and a hybrid pooling approach where we have then a dense layer with a softmax function. So this is output, output is here. Output goes back, sequence output, pooled output, yeah. The bird, yeah, the trainable layer, let's say this is it. So because the, the frozen bird model here was the last hidden state, and this thing here, the trainable layers with the bidirectional and uh, pooling, this is now the output that we want to define. So this is our model in this more or less single line. We have all the information that we're looking for. So, and then of course we have to compile the model. We use here an optimizer. This is the Adam. We use, uh, since we have a uh, Categorical cross entropy, you remember we just have three categories that are available. And as a metric, we choose uh, accuracy metrics. Anything else? And I should have started this a little bit earlier. No attribute Adam W. Okay, let's go with the classical, with the classical Adam. I have to check how you, Keras optimizer Adam W does not exist. Come on believe this. Yes, wait a second. I'm almost there. Just have to check something. Adam. Adam. Adam Kenzerflow. Yes. So whenever I don't know, I go back to the original source. Keras. Adam. Optimizer. Adam. Optimizer. Compile. Available optimizer. Adam. Adam Delta, Adam Grad, Adam Max. No, Adam Max. Oh, Adam. Okay, for Adam, there's just one Adam. Learning rate, beta, reference, notes. Okay, just one Adam. Sorry, my mistake. So, uh, we have a model summary. This is always good to have a look what's happening. We have our input. Uh, IDs, our attention mask, our token type ID. You know this by now. This is our input to the model. Then we have the model. This is our downloaded BERT model. So we have a base model, output with pooling and cross attribution, last hidden state 128768, pool output none, yes, all the classical. And then we freeze this and then we say, okay, we have now a bi directional layer that we activate. And then we have the pooling, we concatenate, we have a dropout, and here we have our dense layer with the softmax functionality. 